Okay, hello everyone. Let's get started. So in today's video, we continue talking about uh, Android basics. Uh, so in the last video, we discussed uh, text view and button components. So if you haven't watched that video, that's the right time to do that. Uh, the link should appear on the top right corner. And today we talk, will talk about next very important component, edit text. Yeah, so basically that's a component which allows user uh, to enter something, yeah? so to input data. Yeah? So let's start. So let's uh, edit in between uh, text view and button components. So edit text, right? Let's start by wrap wrap content. Okay, so as you see here it appeared. So let's uh, run our program to see how it looks like. Okay, so here that's the edit text component. So if I press on it, I'm able to enter something. Yeah, and since the property of width is wrap content, so as I enter more and more text, so the component also stretches, right? And if I delete something, so the component shrinks as well, right? Okay. So that's uh, one thing to mention. Okay, so now let's talk about uh, most important and interesting uh, properties of edit text. So the first one is hint, yeah? so that's basically a text which is uh, displayed uh, when edit text is empty. Yeah? So basically uh, using this text we can uh, give a hint to our user what we expect him to enter. Right? For example, enter your, uh, your uh, phone number. Yeah? And since we have this uh, with as wrap content, as soon as we have hint, yeah, so the component also stretches to be able to uh, display our hint, right? Uh, let's reinstall and rerun. Okay, you can see here a hint, enter your phone number. Yeah. So it's present here. But as soon as I start entering something, so the hint disappears. And if I delete everything, so the hint is displayed once again. Okay. Uh, also very interesting uh, property is, e, uh, is EMS. Uh, so, uh, so basically uh, that's the property which tells how many M letters should our edit text be able to show. So basically if I uh, enter 20, uh, the edit text is exactly as with to be able to display 20 M's. Yeah? And this uh, property overrides layout width. Right? Also, we have two another properties which are connected to that one is mean EMS and max EMS. So mean, so that the minimum uh, number of M letters which uh, a detect should be able to display. For example, 10 uh, or 15. So that's the minimum. So it cannot be less than 15. So even if I delete this uh, hint tag, so as you see, it's still uh, as with to be able to display 15 amps, right? Okay, uh, another very important thing is uh, input uh, type. So basically by this property we set the type of keyboard uh, to be available to a user once he starts entering something. Uh, so for example if we say here a number, 
so the input type set to number, the keyboard will contain primary, uh, primarily numbers or and some punctuation, yeah, but it doesn't have any let uh, any letters, right? Because we expect user to enter number, right? Or, uh, for example, if we want user to enter a password, so text password, let it be text password, so the keyboard will contain or char all characters as it used to, but as we enter or type something, you see the letters are substituted by stars. Yeah? Yeah, so that's uh, what we actually to expect if we enter a password. Okay, and to demonstrate how that uh, works together with text view and button, let's do as follows. Let's change the code of uh, main activity. So once we enter something in add a text component and press button, so the text displayed in text view will be changed to the text we actually entered in edit text. Okay, let's go to our main activity. So here we have uh, links to text view and to button. We should also have the one link to our edit text component. For that, we should specify ID tag, yeah, right? Edit text. Okay, uh, let's go back. Uh, edit text. Edit text, find view by ID. R ID edit text right okay and here text you set text instead of this uh, hard coded button pressed we get text from edit text it's get text okay fine let's reinstall and rerun our program okay let's enter QWERTY okay so since still we have this uh, input type as text password, uh, all letters we entered uh, have been substituted by asterisk, uh, but we have entered QWERTY. And since as soon as we press OK, the text displayed in text view has been changed to what we have entered, right? Okay, so that's a short demonstration how that works together. And that would be all for today. Thanks to all for watching. Uh, still, if you have some questions, doubts, comments, something is not clear, just drop a comment under the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, turn on notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Other than that, thanks to all for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.